Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always, I publish on Rumble, do updates on Twitter from time to time and yeah, today we should have the other episode of the Evil Within 2, so the ninth episode uh, it's been quite a right, some bugs here and there but uh, mainly it's it's most in play, more than playable, sorry um, the, except for one or two like hiccups here and there but it's been quite fun uh, going around with Sebastian and his um, how do I say it is some cautious trips there here and there uh, but yeah uh, we are unravel some stuff there which is kind of interesting here and uh, of course tomorrow XCOM 2 uh, if everything goes well uh, so let's get started with some news here um, we got some mods here for Starfield uh, the project uh, uh, HD reworked the version 1.0 from Hulk Hogan uh, is been uh, the, the, is mods from uh, The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 20 uh, Cyberpunk I will forget the numbering there uh, for textures that are very well known and very high quality and they usually don't impact performance mainly uh, if, if you have like a good uh, VRAM GPU um, they will not affect the performance because it's textures. It's mainly to have like the buffer on the GPU to to handle the, the size of the textures. Uh, but yeah, he launched the for Starfield. Uh, they have a video of comparisons. Some of them are very quite noticeable. Others are more tweaks here and there. Uh, I assume some of them it's more like a personal touch than uh, like uh, basically upgrading. But as you can see the flames here. Uh, you, you notice a huge difference here. Uh, as you can see, it's like a blur, seems like a blur here, and he's more uh, detailed. Uh, I think he can bring a little bit uh, more um, quality on, on the textures, uh, mainly if you are doing a lot of uh, planet exploration, you will be seeing a lot of rock textures, I suppose, and nature textures, like trees and stuff. Um, I, I assume some of them are not that good, uh, because it's it's a planet worth of textures of like rock textures and different colors and everything i assume this one uh, this mod will improve uh, of course this is a uh, version 1.0 and of course he will uh, with time uh, ramp up the, the quality and more textures will be inserted in this mod for sure um, he did an excellent work with the witcher 3 i remember doing a, a playthrough with these mods and it was quite noticeable uh, i assume the thing the same thing with the uh, cyberpunk uh, and with this one, of course, uh, there, there are some only light textures for, like more desert planets, but also in cities. Uh, and of course, that like this kind of effects, uh, I assume some particle effects, I'm not sure. Uh, but at least this uh, like uh, fire effects, which are usually difficult to reproduce without taking a lot of uh, um, performance impact on the CPU, because uh, usually you have lightning associated with fire and the light sources. Uh, but yeah, it seems a huge improvement at this moment. Uh, but for sure you will improve in the future the the, the mod with added uh, with add with more texas added sorry and the quality will be uh, fine-tuned uh, throughout the the, the the versions here uh, also we got um, um i say it's a groundbreaking mod that enables convenient seamless travel between planets in the same search system again usually uh, uh, i didn't know I, I thought like every kind of area around the planet was uh, loaded like an instance so if you want to travel to another planet usually what i my perception was you travel between each planet is like an instance on itself but seamlessly it's uh, it's seamless so basically the the when you travel between stars uh, uh star system yeah star systems uh the, the 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 instance is loaded as a whole so the all the star system the old star system is is loaded uh like in an instant and you supposedly can travel between planets seamlessly without uh, like the fast travel mechanic here um and this mod basically just allows you that so it basically ramp ups your speed to infinity and beyond so you don't uh, spend days and weeks traveling between um, um planets uh, or even between the moons of the planets and everything and uh, but it seems a little bit twitchy still uh, because I saw the video and uh, in some traveling uh, the, 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 the seems almost to start to clip the, 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 the spaceship here uh, but yeah at least it's a solution if you want to try to not checking uh, <laughs> every time you travel it's a loading screen 
uh, I understand if you're uh, if you want to to install this mod, at least try it out. Again, when you try out mods, uh, just to save um, save your saves uh, in a, or copy your saves. And uh, in case something breaks or or is not good, you just remove the mod and put again the the same the, the old saves before the the mod installation. Because usually when you save a game with a mod, if the mod might tweak some stuff uh, that not can corrupt the file uh, but uh, if you load uh, after deleting the mod and you try that uh, to, to load that save it might have some errors there because of some tweaks that might uh, be put on the system itself it's it's a normal procedure here uh, but yeah regarding mods this is it uh, and finally we got some uh, not so good news uh, supposedly we got uh, official confirmation that uh, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 will be locked at 1080p resolution, 60, free, uh, 60 FPS on PC, the two later games, and the, Metal Gear, the original Metal Gear Solid, it's locked at 30 FPS, which is not good, as you can see here. Uh, so Metal Gear Solid, the, the one uh, in Steam, which is PC, 1080p, 30 frames, and uh, Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater, 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is not... Um, my god this is a bummer to say the least um i was i played the first one when basically when it came out on ps1 still yeah ps1 and then i played the the, the second one on ps2 uh I, I really enjoyed those two games um and yeah it, it, it's a huge disappointment to say the least that they didn't improve this they had i don't know 20 odd years to work on this, to get around getting a better uh, version of this. Um, I think this is... Uh, they launched basically this at, uh, the, at least the announcement on the... Um, at the same time that uh, Snake Eater sold the, the Delta, Metal Gear Solid Delta, which is the remake of uh, the Snake Eater game. Um, they announced this collection at the same time. Uh, I think they're just trying to get some change here from the investment they're doing on the remake of Metal Gear Solid delta um yeah this this is not good not this i i do not support i put a cross on it i'm going to deal to remove my wish list on this game i don't care if only if they give me it for free i could try it out in this day and age you don't you just lock out of this kind of a thing here this is in especially they are uh i think the the the, the, the collection is 60 bucks the free game 60 bucks for 20 plus year games it's not even like a discounted deal or something like that it's it's a, it's a, a, again konami is doing their own shit again um they had like a redemption arc with with this remake and and let's see if the remake is faithful to to the original game because uh, each one of these games has a very how do i say it uh, it, it has the authorship of Kojima uh, in it. It has his own DNA, and uh, remaking uh, something with this vision, it, it, I assume it's very difficult. Um, and it, let's see if the, the 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 remake is anything good. Uh, but uh, even though they are originals, um, they're just trying to resell you with a, with a, a different package, uh, um, is, which is not good. Uh, there is no like ups uh, not even upscaling but there is no uh, like kind of remaster at least to, to uh, remaster the, the things there to put it like 4k 60 something like that and unlock 1080p or something nothing even like nintendo uh, nintendo switch is it's the same thing there for all of them yeah it, this is not good i i, I disavowed the the the, the, the excitement that uh, they put uh, on people regarding this uh, i will not i, I will delete it uh, unless they put it like 10 bucks free games maybe i will give a thought on it uh, for this kind of uh, version here so it will have like original yeah. uh, textures and everything so it's going to be a blocky mess um if you want to play it in in 4k uh, i really appreciate the experience at the time and it's one of all of those uh, these games that basically got me addicted per se in gaming to find some kind of the same experience as i did with metal gear solid and then afterwards with metal gear solid 2 uh, son of soul liberty uh, but yeah this is a huge disappointment what they did here 
uh, at least we have the, the official confirmation before the launch it's not going to be like an October surprise because it's going to be launched in October so I think 24th yeah uh, 24th of, the, of October so it's not going to be a, a sour uh, October surprise here uh, so prepare yourself if you really really ramp up for this for this kind of a game prepare to be disappointed on uh, it, it, it's not even managed to upscale I, I don't know if there's going to be like some mod or something like that that can be made to upscale this for 4k but still upscaling this to 4k is going to be a mess um but yeah unfortunately this it is what it is um and i'm going to wrap up some gaming deals as usual uh we got wall world still uh around one day and a half uh 37 percent off this is the version i i um, recommend because it has the deep thread which is like a, a dlc with new enemies new weapons new new areas new new everything um and uh, yeah seven and a half bucks is is an excellent for this for what this game offers i think it's uh, an excellent deal here uh, also we still have marvel's marvel's guardians of the galaxy this is a very good game uh like in terms of story wise it's more like uh, related to the comic book stuff here it's not based on the, the 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 marvel movies characters here so it has its own twist and interpretation and then you have uh, around two days until this deal is over so 70 percent off i think it's uh, pretty good from all the reviews that i saw from this game uh also we got stray the meow meow game here uh 25 off again i think it's an excellent deal v very good experience annapurna in terms of publishing games especially indie games is been uh on a on a very good path here uh not only with the stray but uh, other more indie games uh, they, they've been doing quite good uh, launching um, uh, launching or no publishing games here uh, also we got the dredge um, pretty good game love crash in nature 20 percent off i think it's a it's a good deal uh, you got some weird stories here you got the, the boat management stuff there and upgrades to deal with i, I think it's a, a pretty good uh, and i think that the, the, the story ends uh, very very well from uh, what i read here um, and lastly we got Marvel's Midnight Suns till the 29th 60% off um, the legendary edition uh, again I, I'm not sure the last time I, I spoke about this like one week uh, ago I still don't understand if the digital plus edition has the the, the DLC characters here I assume it, uh, it has if not mistaken uh, because it's 79 $80 this, uh, the digital plus so I assume it is because this is the base game um, I assume it has the season pass it has the the, um, the characters um, um, aye, the characters associated which is Venom and two more Deadpool and, and another one I forget which one are those I'm sorry I completely forgot which characters it brings um, I don't know if it has the skins I, I assume it has the extra skins also but yeah very good if you like kind of XCOM kind of play there uh, with uh, like a very intricate story and but uh, the, the the twist here is deck building uh with the powers there but it's very addicting how you how you go about it uh, some rng a very good healthy R uh, dose of rng in the game here uh, but yeah I, I watched the dark dark hunter path uh from christopher Odd and i really really enjoyed the, the what i saw here yeah the, we got there the, the portal lady there it's one of my favorite characters very very flexible um and yeah uh I'll wrap up for today not much happening but yeah some 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 good stuff and bad news there uh i'm going to wrap up with my plug on the, my patreon just for the extra help for me to continue upgrading my pc mainly for storage uh, for me to have like backups of backups from for the projects that i do for my private clients and of course to have some uh, space for the recordings that i do for the channel and yeah basically that's it guys i hope you have a full day and i'll see you in the next one till then Kuna mi ma sarao.